Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love all right, good morning. Um, you can see a little bit of the water down below of Emerald Bay and the body of Lake Tahoe in the distance. And um, as we work our way over, um, it's kind of hidden behind that tree a little bit. But um, there is Mount Talak, our objective today. All right, there's Mount Talak behind me in the distance. So 15 years ago, in August, um, Celia and I got engaged, and our uh, my son Wesley, who was nine at the time, um, we had dated for a little more than a, about a year, a little bit more than that, actually, about almost a year and a half. And um, young Wesley, I thought, should know that this was coming, and so I checked in with him about it, and he was thrilled. He actually kept it a secret for a month, and we hatched a plan to do the proposal on top of Mount Talak. Um, on that day, Wesley wanted to start, and so we got to this triangular rock area at the top of Talak, and we were all holding hands, and Wesley looked up at Celia and said, Celia, will you be my stepmom? And she burst into tears, um, and it was so emotional at that point that I think they hardly remember that I proposed too. But anyway, uh, Celia and I have been delightfully married for 14 and a half years now. Love you so much, my dear sweetie. And um, um, she couldn't be here today uh, due to a knee issue, but we'll get up there together soon, my dear. I love you so much. Okay, still on my way to the Mount Talak Trailhead from our beautiful home near Truckee. Um, the peak up there is Jake's Peak. Um, and um, that's a peak that Barney, my dear friend Barney, used to love to backcountry ski. That one I never made with him. And then there is Fanat Island, which has a tea house on it from when the woman owned the Vikings home, um, she had a tea house on the island, um, which you can just barely see there. See some boaters out there, I think some kayakers. And then, um, what a gorgeous morning, wow. So there's uh, Lake Tahoe beyond, just gorgeous, wow. What a blessing to get to be here and to get to hike up Mount Salak today. Laura J. Knight, who is of English descent, built Vikings Home on Emerald Bay. It was one of the first summer homes at Lake Tahoe. It is considered one of the finest examples of Scandinavian architecture in the United States. It is open for tours during the summer months. There is Mount Salak again, um, approaching it closer, and um, yeah, we'll be hiking pretty soon. So this is the entrance here to the Spring Creek tract of residential homes that are on Forest Service lands, and um, in just a moment I'll show you a cabin that I owned previously. So this is kind of cool. This is um, a Forest Service cabin that I owned from uh, 1994 to 2002. And this is actually near the base of Mount Talak. And so I used to be able to hike right from the cabin up Talak um, and also uh, backcountry ski right from near the cabin. I would drive just half a mile up the road and ski from there. And then one year, 1995, was able to ski right back to the cabin. All right, Tahoe and Fall there's Leaf Lake. There, did you see? And there's a balloon there. Yeah, that's that's the, uh, no, the, that's, it's not like Reno with all the balloons. This is a tourist thing. 
There's Frill Peak back there and Palm Leaf Way, really gorgeous. So this is Floating Island Lake. And then I'll take, we have six of us hiking. So I'll do a quick little scan of our fellow hikers. Yeehaw. Okay, we're just now getting to Cathedral Lake and very gorgeous. It's just a good sized tarn, you know, as you get higher and we're starting to flirt with where the tree line will be. We'll lose the trees soon. Um, so the lakes start to look like this higher up. Okay, we're working our way up Cathedral Bowl. There's the main bowl part of it. Clouds are starting to build a bit. And then uh, very beautiful scenery. And then we've been climbing from down a little below Fallen Leaf Lake. And there's Fallen Leaf Lake. And then Tahoe in the distance. Very beautiful. All right. Working our way up. Good job. Yeah, that seems good. We've got three more behind. One fellow is a little way ahead. There's Fallen Leaf Lake. There's Tahoe. And then uh, we'll work our way up towards Slack. But we'll wait for them here. And then I'm in the distance. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. So that's called the Crystal Range. To the right is Mount Price. The middle little bump um, is Mount Agassiz. And to the left is Pyramid Peak, which you can easily see from downtown Sacramento on a clear day. Going across further, um, let's see, that bump over there, I'm pretty sure, is Echo Peak, I think. Um, and then way in the distance was snow, that's Round Top. Close in is Angora Peak. In the distance is Stevens Peak, the flat lumbering one with some snow. And then way in the distance there, you're probably getting way back over toward Ebbets Pass, I'm guessing. Um, so you can see a lot of stuff. And then here is a Friel Peak above South Lake Tahoe. And you can see some of the heavenly ski runs. And then we're back around with Fallen Leaf Lake and the Mount Talak hike. It's been quite a gorgeous day and here are some of our intrepid hikers and we oh, oh. we left a few, a couple of them a little higher up. <laughs> They're doing great. We're in communication by text and they are a-okay. You can look at Fall Leaf Lake on a Saturday and 
pretty darn empty on the lake. It's kind of the same for Tahoe. It's pretty quiet too. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, please consider subscribing. Show me love, make a change. Time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me love, show me love.